Hi kids, welcome to Sunday School Online. This is Teacher Lori. Our lesson for today is Jesus is Tempted. Before we start, let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you very much for our online Sunday School. Thank you for this opportunity that we can know more about you. Speak to us, Lord, as we learn about your word and help us to understand them that we may apply it in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Kids, I'll be going to the grocery. Eat some fruits, okay? Okay, okay Mommy. Mommy isn't here. So? We can eat the chips. But mommy said we have to eat the fruits. And the Bible said, Children, obey your parents, for this is right. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's eat the fruits then. You can see how memorizing Bible verses helps us to make the right choice. Our memory verse for today is from... James chapter 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. What is submit? Can you remember from our past lesson? Mm. Submit is choosing to obey. You can see here, submit yourselves therefore to God, which means saying yes to God and no to Satan. We choose to obey God. Resist. What is resist? Avoid. Saying no to temptation or saying no in doing wrong things. Resist the devil. Getting rid of the things that tempts you. When you submit to God, you resist the devil, what will happen? God promises that Satan will flee. Means leave you. Okay? In our lesson today, we will learn how Jesus resists the devil. How many of you have memorized Bible verses? Do you always remember when we memorize from our Sunday school classes? Well, do you know that memorizing God's word is very important? Jesus gave an example of how God's word can help you resist Satan. Our story will be from Matthew 4, 1-11 and Luke 4, 1-13. Immediately after the baptism of Jesus, the Holy Spirit led Jesus to the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Wilderness means desert, like this. For 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus was out in the desert without any food. Then, at the end of the 40 days, of course, Jesus was very hungry. Then, Satan came and said to Jesus, If you are the Son of God, tell the stones to become bread. Imagine how hungry Jesus must have been. But kids, do you think he has the power to turn the stones to bread? Yes, of course! Jesus is God, and He can do anything. Satan was trying to tempt Jesus to obey Him instead of God. Jesus resisted Satan by the power of God's Word. Then Jesus quoted a Bible verse in Deuteronomy 8.3. Jesus said, It is written, Man does not live by bread alone, but on every word that comes out of the mouth of God. 
Jesus reminded Satan that obeying God's word is more important than having food to eat. In Matthew 4, verses 5 to 7, Satan wasn't finished yet. He then took Jesus to the highest point of the temple in Jerusalem, at least 100 feet above the rocky Kidron Valley. Here, look at this picture. Just like standing in a 100 feet tall building, you can see how high it is. Then Satan said, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, He will command His angels about you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Satan was telling Jesus that He is the Son of God. He could jump from the temple and God would protect him. But Jesus knew it was wrong to prove himself. Then he told Satan another Bible verse in Deuteronomy 6, 16. It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Kids, you know what? Satan won't stop. And here's temptation number three. Satan took Jesus to a very high mountain where he showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their richness in the earth. Just like seeing a beautiful view on top of a building. Here, isn't it very nice? Imagine you own all of them. Then, Satan told Jesus, All this I will give you if you will bow down and worship me. Remember, Jesus is the Son of God. He already ruled the world, but Satan was trying to, to trick him. Then Jesus turned to Satan and said, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. Jesus chose to do the right thing. He refused to give in to temptation. Three times the devil tried to get Jesus to choose wrong. Each time the devil failed. Why? Because Jesus remembered a Bible verse that helped him choose to do the right thing. God had helped Jesus remember these verses. And in verse 11, finally, after the devil left, God sent angels to meet Jesus' needs. Do you know Satan also tries to tempt you to obey him? Like Jesus, like the two kids and the mother at the beginning of our video? Satan hates God and God's children. Satan wants you to do things that will hurt you and dishonor God. What are some things Satan tempts you to do? First, he wants you to tell a lie or he wants you not to tell the truth to your parents or to others. Second, cheating during exam. Or quiz time. Third, you tell wrong stories to others and disobedience. Like when your parents ask you to rest your eyes to stop using your gadgets and do other things, we often don't listen or even get mad. You know, Satan is happy when we do bad things. Being tempted is not a sin. That's why knowing God's word is so important. If you have Jesus in your heart, you too can resist Satan through the power of God's word. This week, 
when you are tempted, like when you feel you have to stop using your gadgets or your parents ask you not to eat chips, you are tempted when you see them, right? Remember our verse in James 4 verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Again, let's try to memorize James 4 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So remember, how can you resist Satan? First, Submit to God by choosing to obey Him rather than Satan. Say yes to God and no to Satan. Second, resist Satan through the power of God's Word. Believe God's Word and act on it. Say no. Get rid of the things that tempts you. Leave or do whatever it takes to avoid sin. When you follow these two steps, God promised us Satan will flee from you. It's not always easy, but through the power of God's word, you can do the right thing. You can refuse to give in to temptation. God's word can give us comfort when we are sad. It gives us peace when we worry, and it teaches us to make right choices in whatever we do. That's why the Bible is called the Living Word. Can you think or remember a Bible verse? Now let's think. I hope you have at least one verse in your mind. Try to practice memorizing them and adding more bible verses in your mind in your heart and i'm sure you'll use it someday let us pray thank you lord for our lesson today thank you for the bible the living word help us lord to always remember your word especially when we're sad, when we're happy, and when we're facing temptation. Help us to remember Bible verses that we may apply it in our lives. Guide us through the day and keep us safe, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, kids. See you next week. Stay home. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.